Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a topic from public health dentistry that is dental records. Previously, I uploaded one session about clinical practice management. So in that session, I was uh, more explaining about how to set up a clinic, its location, the instruments. Records. So this session is exclusively for dental records, not in detail, but a brief idea about dental records. So why to keep the dental records? Okay, the first thing is to provide quality care. Okay. And also for having a good clinical practice. So if we have dental records backup system, our practice will be very good because we need not to uh, take the case history twice because the patient might have already uh, come to our clinic. So we just go to the uh, previous records and just uh, have a look at the case history. Uh, so very few things might have changed. So we can ask the uh, newer things and start the practice and also to conduct clinical trials because since we have data we can have good clinical trials it helps to find out new things that is part of research and it helps us promote teaching because we have lots of data we can teach others uh, by comparing the old data and new data and this is most crucial thing that is it protect us or protect the dentist from litigation okay so it act as a protective evidence against the accusation against the dentist and it also helps us in referral because when we have uh, data uh, we can uh, refer uh, this patient to an extent is because uh, we need not to explain anything about the patient we just have the data and send the patient with uh, the all the records to the specialist and also for the historical purpose because we know in history many people were identified just because of the dental records we know the history of Adolf Hitler records Next, we have the points to be noted when we take dental records. We need to have standardized method, that is diagrammatic charts. Okay, so we should not use any unstandardized method for taking case history. We need to have good standardized method for every patient. And we should always include most of the details which includes non-lesional areas, non-important areas and the investigation details also should be properly recorded that includes the photography, cast, models, lab findings, the biopsy and the hematological findings all these things should be included. So what are the components of a dental record? So it should have details of patient's record that is the case history and all those things what we discussed in the previous slide case history investigation all those things and the business record that includes the money thing everything about the money and the third thing is the drugs i mean what all drugs are prescribed and how many drugs the patient has taken everything should be noted down so that was a dental record component then we should never forget these things that is the dentist is a responsible person not the patient so when patient says an accusation against the dentist we should be very cautious because we are the responsible person so our data always should be objective that is from the dentist perspective not from the patient's perspective and in every document we should always take the signature of the patient and it should be an informed consent informed consent means the patient should be knowing in and out of the procedure whatever procedure whatever investigation we are planning to carry out in the patient he should know 
in and out about the procedure or investigation its limitations in alternatives its benefits its disadvantages everything and he should sign the document okay so we are the responsible person it should be very objective and signature is must and it should be informed consent and we should always record all the bill details with the date and amount and all the bills from the lab whatever we have purchased from the lab uh, like the dentures the artificial crowns the implants all those things with the bills and dates and uh, if the dentist makes any conversation with a uh, patient with regard to the satisfaction or if patient has any queries or any complaints all the phone calls should be recorded for the future legal purposes and all other direct communication should be written and signed if it's not written and signed the patient might change his words and all the details of drugs and its dosage quantity everything should be written down all details of drugs with dates dosage quantity everything should be recorded okay and we should take case history like this. a and p that is soap is the acronym for the format where how we should make our case history or record the dental data that is s for subjective data or for objective finding a for assessment p for plan that is we ask the patient about his subjective problems then we make our assessment then we assess that is a diagnosis and make the plans based on the diagnosis so how we should store the records that is we need to have shelves for storing it and better we need to have a lateral sorry lateral and open shelf and there should be a color coding color coding is very easy we need to have uh, different colors that is uh, yellow uh, green uh, red color color coding is very much because many dental offices use a color coded filling system for patient record files uh, we need to have color uh, coded labels usually the first two letters of the patient's last name and active date of treatment so in any way we can have uh, different colors for different uh, set of patients and we can categorize based on these colors and electronic data now nowadays we have lots of softwares and computer uh, system to store uh, data so uh, we can store the data in our computers or laptops and this is the most crucial thing how long to be stored all these data how long we need to store as per the revised dentist code of ethics in 2014 we need to store these data for three years same with medical council of india medical records also they need to store for three years and it is also said that the ip records the inpatient records for five years and the outpatient record for three years and the MLR for indefinite period. Okay, so uh, we can throw it off after five years, the OP records after three years, but the medical legal records for indefinite period. Okay, so this is three years as per the revised dentist code of ethics. So, and there are two types of records one is active and next is the inactive one. Active is uh, patients who are undergoing treatment and regularly coming to the clinic inactive one who is not returned to the clinic for at least past 24 months so that was all about uh, dental records maintenance and its importance i was explaining you about the duration and how to store it what is the difference between ipop and mlr and uh, the soap acronym how we should record the data then the importance of signature, informed consent and objective nature of data. Then uh, the components of our records and the introduction part. So I'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more. Thank you.